is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of this bill. I've heard a lot of rhetoric today about the role of Congress, the role of the administration in recognizing or not recognizing tribal lands, tribal governments, reservations, and the ability of tribes to participate in whatever kind of economic development they so desire. I've also heard a lot of talk and discussion. I'm pleased to hear talk and discussion on this House floor about the need to make sure that tribes are recognized, that tribal sovereignty is recognized, and that this government needs to do, do right by Native people and Indigenous people to this land. But the basis for support of this bill today is not necessarily rooted in whether or not we're doing the quote unquote right thing. Congress has a duty to properly exercise our plenary power over interactions with tribal people, with tribal governments. The Constitution gives Congress plenary power over interactions with Indian tribes. That's what's at stake here today is how Congress and the federal government is going to continue to interact with Indian tribes. Tribes don't need Congress members' sympathy. What tribes need is for us to properly exercise our duty. This bill does that. This bill exercises Congress's power to recognize a tribe, to recognize tribal reservation lands, and it has nothing to do with what happens afterwards. This bill wouldn't abrogate or alternate or abrogate or alter the application of the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act or any other piece of legislation. This bill would simply do exactly what Congress's job is to do, recognize the federal tribal relationship that exists and the tribal lands that are properly held in trust and should be held in trust for an Indian tribe. That's what we are doing right now. All the talk and discussion about other pieces of legislation that might be called into question after this bill is passed should be debated later. That has nothing to do with what this specific bill applies to. Our role here is very simple. We have got to recognize the Mashabee tribe's reservation. We've got to re recognize their sovereignty and their self-determination. Thank you. The gentlewoman from Kansas reserve. yields back. Continue to reserve. The gentleman from Arizona reserves his time. The gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Gozar, is recognized. 